Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute, located in Winnipeg's West End, was formally established in 1923 and named in honor of longtime educational visionary and school district superintendent, Dr. Daniel McIntyre. My memorable time at Daniel was hanging around the gym lockers, playing all the sports, and the gym lockers used to be where the library is. That's no longer the case with the new uh, gym and everything. Especially in the music program, it is so easy to make friends with people and just to feel like you fit in, to feel like a part of something more. And it's this legacy that we all share that has brought us back together. My name is Bob Coffey and I was here uh, from 1947 to 1949. I'm a graduate of Daniel Mack in the year 1953. Class of 61. 1963. 1967. 1977. 1987. 1993. 1991. 1995. 2002. 2015. I mean, I was into everything too, but uh, the choir was my big thing. Well, we had, what, over 200 teenagers in a choir. And when we'd sing, we'd get, all get goose pimples. It was wonderful. One of the school's great features was music with Glenn Pierce as the as a teacher. In 1964, the Boys Choir won the Earl Grey Trophy. It was awarded each year for the most outstanding performance in a school chorus. We practiced and rehearsed our songs so often and so well, but I still remember the idyllic nuanced sound Mr. Pierce could extract from us. The music program has really helped shape my life into what it is now. Uh, almost 10 years ago I was graduated and uh, I still feel its influence today. The music program here was really influential for me, so glad to still see it going strong today. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Meyer here, representing the incredible talent and dedication of the DMCI's dance program and DMCI's finest. I want to express my deepest gratitude to all the dancers, past and present, who have made what DMCI's dance program is today. Thank you for your passion, your dedication, and your unwavering commitment to the art of dancing. Together we've created a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. Hi! Happy 100th anniversary! Being a part of Finest during the 100th anniversary means so, so much to us because we get to be a part of a legacy that wasn't here 100 years ago. And we get to carry it on for coming generations. Happy 100th! I belong to the choir. I like singing. I mean, I did sports too, but I was always sitting on the bench. That was fine. But I did every sport there was. But my brother, he was just the star all the time. He uh, graduated the year before I did. He was an unbelievable athlete. He played every sport. He won the Joe Warbinuck Trophy when he, he was here for being a good athlete. Fastest maroon in 100 years? Ian Craig in the class of 1966. In May of 1966, at the annual DMCI track and field day held at the Sergeant Park Oval, I was the first Daniel student to ever run 100 yards in under 10 seconds. I credit much of my success for my 9.9 .9 second clocking to my DMCI track coach at the time, Mr. Tom Murray. Mr. Murray's encouragement, our training workouts in the school's upper halls, at the track, on the field, running hills at the Westview Dump, working against the resistance of the exergeny, all contributed to my development as a sprinter. We played phys ed sports out of a, a double classroom and if you're trying to play volleyball or basketball and set up for a spike, you had a 12-inch ceiling. It was rather ridiculous. And for years they had been talking about a gymnasium being built, but nothing was happening. And the school council, a few of us met, and we agreed to try and do a major push for the gymnasium. We organized a campaign that involved almost the entire school. We had every student to campaign every door in the area from the CPR tracks to Portage Avenue from downtown to Polo Park and got signatures for a petition to the school board. 
and I made the presentation on behalf of the student council. I'm sure it helped move the construction of the gymnasium up a few years. Some of the highlights of my life were in this revered spot and I was a cheerleader and part of the track and field team and involved in all sorts of things that went on here. We were the top of the hill. I think we won almost every year the City High School Football Championships with Johnny Potter who was a great phys ed teacher and a great, great coach of the football team. My name is Grant Wachenko. I was founder of the Daniel McIntyre Electronics Club. I started it in 68. Uh, we had an entry where we uh, entered a video camera the first year, which was a, a relatively new thing at the time, portable video camera. And then we did a light show, which uh, ended up uh, being front page on the DMCI. A couple of the years that I was here we went on trips to places like Banff and Moose Jaw and those were probably the most uh, memorable things from my time here. To my friend here in school, him and I first met back in grade 9 and seeing as how, as how far our friendship has gone since then, I want to give some credit to him. I guess the most memorable of all was a young lady named Andrea Malik. Uh, we were in the same class from grade 10 through grade 12. We knew each other a little bit, uh, we kind of got together after university, and uh, now we've been married for over 50 years. So, thank you, DMCI. I met uh, my wife-to-be in grade 11, and we became high school sweethearts. Later on, after school, we got married, and we just celebrated our 67th anniversary a couple of months ago. So that's been a very big part of my life, and I have to thank Daniel Mack for being here to allow us to meet each other. Daniel was the culmination of opening the door to the future. And that came from the people that I met in the three years I was here, as well as the teachers. The teachers provided the foundation and the encouragement and the building of skills. Who I'd really like to, I wanted to talk about was my brother Gary. He ended up becoming a principal and he passed away a couple of years ago. He's suffered from a dementia, a vascular dementia. He loved the kids when he was the principal. He was the principal that walked the halls and uh, a lot of schools wanted him to come there because they had drug problems and things and he helped them a lot. I have many fond memories of my time there. Certainly a number of teachers come to mind. Uh, I remember Mr. Recruit who uh, insisted we mark up our chemistry textbooks in ink because it would add value to the book if we had more notes in it. I also remember Mr. Lind who demonstrated the pr principle of inertia, or maybe it was gravity, when he dropped a rock into a large glass container, completely smashing the bottom out. Um, then he took this big round cylinder of glass and dropped it as well, promptly stomping on it. Um, since, since then, uh, his, he reminds me more of Mr. Cylinder than Mr. Lind. Hi, my name is Benjamin True. Uh, I graduated in 2009 from DMCI. I am now currently a teacher here teaching chemistry and math. Uh, one of my fondest memories here as a student way back when uh, was I in our chemistry class, our AP chemistry class, we uh, end of the year we got to just play around after our exams and Mr. Audenbright and I had the bright idea to maybe play around with some chemicals that we haven't tried before and we tried making thermite. Uh, so we ended up making a small amount of it, uh, lit it on fire in the football field, caused a bit of smoke. Great fun, we made sure we stayed safe. Um, but safe to say we weren't allowed to do that anymore, so that's sort of my fondest memory here as a student at the MCI. I'm lucky enough to have attended Daniel, and now I'm actually lucky enough to work at Daniel. Uh, grew up in the West End on Victor Street, had some great teachers uh, here, great environment, great community that helped shape me. Uh, now I'm just happy to be part of the 100th as well. What a wonderful celebration this is, 100 years of Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute. I'm so proud to say that I'm a graduate of this school and even more blessed to be back as a teacher. 
I was fortunate to represent my group as valedictorian and I'm grateful to help students reach graduation as a teacher here. It feels so full circle, DMCI has helped shape me and I feel so honored to celebrate Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute's 100th year. I am Wayne Arneson and I was a student at Daniel McIntyre from 1965 to 1968. I felt honored and excited to be asked to be the valedictorian and I understood what was expected of a valedictorian uh, but I also understood that one of those expectations was to be the voice of that year's class, widely remembered as a year of social and cultural revolution in North America and around the world. So I decided I would have a text for my valedictorian speech, and I wanted to take it from the Doors song, When the Music's Over. My valedictory speech was a somewhat defiant uh, calling out of the older generation for the mess that they were making of the world and a call for our generation to take responsibility for making it better. The day before the graduation ceremony, I was asked to come to a rehearsal. I was taken aside and given a stern lecture and told that I would have to change the speech or I wouldn't be allowed to give it. I went home angry and in tears. I told my parents what had happened without my asking them to do it, went to the school and stood up for me and apparently so did several of my teachers. The next morning I was told that I was going to be able to give my speech but I was so grateful that they backed me up. Some of my classmates told me that they the speech meant something to them so that was good but the feedback that meant the most to me uh, was from my grandmother who told me that she was proud of me and that was just the best thing I could hear as I concluded my high school career at Daniel McIntyre. I was uh, head of the grad committee that year, so we had a nice grad. Um, and back then we would decorate cars. We'd have our breakfast at the Pancake House. We had our dinner and dance that year at the Marlboro. And then of course, the next thing we went to was the riverboat ride. I don't even know if those kind of things take place anymore with safe grads, but it was a, a great time that I had here. It's just really a privilege to have lived this long and to be able to celebrate with all of you for this 100th anniversary. I'm remembering back to those years. To me, were the best years of my life. I have fond memories of everybody. And here's to another 100 years. Cheers to everybody. I've never felt more belonging than in DMCI. Hello, my name is Melvin. I have not graduated yet, but I'm slated to graduate in 2025. I came here because I was poached off the side of the road by my band teacher, Mr. Dion. But the real reason why I came here was because I wanted to continue on my brother's legacy. He passed here in um, 2017, and I wanted to continue on what he wanted to do, which was continue on music. And I just wanted to help that community grow. Because we came here during COVID, a lot of the community and the culture here was lost already. And I wanted to try my best to continue to foster that sense of home that was so prevalent here when I visited before. I would like to see a large music ensemble uh, sing at our grad ceremony. I would love to see that happen because when they came here, the, the choir and the band was smaller than I would have loved to see. And it's been growing this last year, and I would absolutely love if we came back to our numbers that we were at when my brother was still here and before COVID started. Wherever you go, just always have that sense of music or creativity. Don't drop it, whatever you do. Congratulations, DMCI. You have been a home for me for many years. Even though I've only been here for two years, it has felt like a home for more than that. Thank you. Well, well, well. Good old Daniel Mack. How are you? My name's Adam Beach. And yes, thank you for the last couple of years of school. Oh, it's a wonderful place. I'd take you inside, but it's not open. I just wanted to say thank you for encouraging me, lifting me up, lifting my spirits, 
to uh, become the person I am today. You know, there's a lot of family, friends, etc. that, you know, inspired me, but Daniel Mack, you inspired me. You allowed me to continue my creative spirit and the friends that I had here, oh, we had so much fun on those stairs, just talking about life. And my life was, you know, to be an actor. And here I am. And, you know, a lot of it starts here at school. And uh, thank you for everyone who was kind to me and helped me pursue my dream. Later. Congratulations on the 100th anniversary DMCI. Congratulations, Daniel Mack. Happy 100th anniversary, everyone. Congratulations for DMCI's 100th anniversary. Happy anniversary. And to all of the students going to Daniel Mack now, enjoy your time.